Hello 8th graders and welcome to the very first video tutorial of our third unit in music production class. This unit is titled Track Creation and we will be using a program called Sony Acid Music Studio to compose brand new songs from scratch. In this tutorial we will be learning the basics of finding loops and painting them into a track. What is a loop you ask? Well, a loop is a short section of music that is repeated over and over again. By combining different loops into one track, we can create incredibly diverse and interesting new songs. In the example on your screen, there are many loops being played at once, including an old school break loop, number 30, in green at the top, and a hi-hat percussion loop, number 10, in red at the bottom. Feel free to pause this tutorial at any time and follow along on your own computer. Let's get started with finding all of the awesome loops that we have to choose from. To add a loop into our track, we must first locate all of the loops available to us. At the bottom of your screen you will find the Explorer bar. A simple issue that can be frustrating at times is if the Explorer bar gets accidentally closed. The quick fix is to go up to the View tab and re-click Explorer. Back in the Explorer bar at the bottom of your screen, you will want to click Desktop, then Computer, then C, which is the first letter of Computer, then Program Files, and ACID being a Sony program, you will need to click Sony then ACID Music Studio 9 and Loops and Songs. The final folder you will click into is the Loops folder. You will now see that there are many instrument folders to choose from. For most students, the most enjoyable part of this process is listening to the many loops available. In each of these 11 instrument folders, there are even more folders and loops to choose from offering you hundreds of choices when creating your original songs. To sift through the many options, you will need to double click on any folder. Let's try the guitar folder. I now have to choose between acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and process guitar. Let's choose acoustic. In this folder, I now have 49 acoustic guitar options to listen through. To play any of these, click on the loop name one time. You may stop and start using the start preview and stop preview buttons above. To add a loop to your track, simply double click the loop. Once you have the loop added to your track, you may delete it by right clicking the number in the colored square and choosing delete. Let's try adding another loop. To go back a folder, you may click the up one level button Let's add a percussion loop. The last step is to actually paint in the loop. There are two ways to do this. Notice the paint tool at the top of your screen. This will literally allow you to paint the loop into the track. However, you can click the enable snapping tool, which will automatically fit the loop to the measure lines. This will be the better choice as we add more loops together. Notice the playback buttons in the middle of your screen to help you listen to what you have created. Good luck, and I can't wait to hear your musical masterpieces.